Hey everybody, happy Friday. Now, today we have another video that has been inspired by my weekly language learning diary entries over on Patreon. So for those of you who don't know, every Friday I write a just reflection of how my language learning has been going for the previous week. And I've been finding those really, really helpful. So last Friday, I wrote about the power of resetting often with regards to our language learning habits. Now, this has been something I've been doing for many, many years now. It's a very simple, I'd say two-step process, but you know, very often it is these really simple mechanisms that we can use to make a massive, massive difference in our lives. So I thought today I would share what I've been doing with you. Hope you're gonna love it. And without further ado, let's jump in, but let's have a sip of coffee first. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, so like I said, this is really a very simple two-step process, but it consists of a weekly and a monthly check-in. Now, what I like to do at the end of every single week is I sit down on Sunday evening, usually in bed, I've got my little notebook, and I like to just reflect on the last week and say, what went well, what didn't go so well, right? What could have been better? And I'm specifically focusing here on my habits, my rituals, my routines, because these are so, so viable to me. I would say my rituals that I have, like my daily things that I just, I do every single day, those are like my North Star. You know, right now things are so chaotic with, you know, journaling being in alpha testing and I'm desperately trying every day to get that into beta testing, full-time job, three YouTube videos a week, all this other stuff, data science studies, computer science studies, right? Language learning, all my other things, like life is pretty chaotic right now. And so just taking time to focus on my habits, like those things, they just, they keep life at this center for me, like this place of peace somehow. And you know, with all that chaos, it's inevitable that every single week there are gonna be some things that went really well, but there's definitely gonna be stuff where, you know, just didn't quite manage to make enough time for that. You know, I didn't quite do as much of this thing as I wanted. So every Sunday night, I just say, okay, you know, how did it go? And what I found is that, you know, for quite a while, I was really doing well with Mandarin. And many of you will remember that recently I posted a video of my first ever Mandarin Chinese conversation with Jake Gill. That was really cool. And you know, around that time, I just felt like my Mandarin, I was really killing it with my studies. But I also found that my German studies were really, really lacking. I just was having such a difficult time making enough time for it. And it's important to me. This is something that I have decided here on this channel and personally with myself, I really want to do this. And so there were quite a few weeks where my, you know, my goal at the end of the week was, I just wanna do a bit better with German. Now I had other goals too. So for example, recently I'm focusing a lot on stretching every day and focusing on mobility, doing exercise, eating well, you know, your standard, just healthy lifestyle habits. But with language learning, that was kind of my focus was like, okay, I wanna really try maybe just to do German every day next week. But even if it's 10 minutes, just wanna do it every day. I just want to make a small improvement. And then the next week, cause I found that I was successful, right? Because I focus usually on really small improvements for these weekly check-ins. And so it's very easy to identify, okay, what's one thing that I can do to improve this? And it's also quite easy to execute on it, right? And so I actually did it. I studied German every day, only for like 10 minutes usually, cause I was so busy, but I did it every day. And so the next week, my really small improvement was, okay, can I do it for, you know, 25, 30 minutes every single day? Can I just do it more? Can I feel better about this next Sunday? And I did it, right? So I actually did study German every day for a little bit longer, and it still didn't feel like quite enough, but it felt good that I had improved. And so finally, last week, I actually really, really killed it. Well, actually this week. Um, and so I actually have studied German every day this week, but it's also been like 
45 minutes plus reviewing throughout the day and like I just feel like wow I did more German this week than I did the previous like six weeks combined but it was this process of going through you know these weekly check-ins and again, making small improvements every single week. So I love this idea of kind of refinement, right? This idea that you check in every single week and you're just refining, 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 because these are habits, right? These are rituals, these are routines. They're long-term things. You're not trying to accomplish it in a week. It's the kind of thing that's gonna be with you for a very long time. And so the next thing I do, the second part of this sort of two-step process, is a monthly check-in. Now you may just think, okay, cool, whatever. It's just the same thing, but it has a different function. I feel like what happens is, you know, as we go through this weekly process, I'm genuinely focusing on, you know, what went well, what didn't go well, but the goal then is to improve something, right? So, okay, didn't do well in my German study. So I want to try to, you know, improve that. But what happens is I feel like if you just do that without ever having a reset mechanism, then you tend to sort of start to form a bias. And so for example, for me, I may start to form a bias towards my German studies and I'm, and I'm, I'm really improving those, but I'm getting off the center, right? This is the center in case you can't tell. So I'm getting off the center. Um, and so my Mandarin studies are, are dropping. So what I noticed is that while I'd been focusing every week on improving this deficiency in German, I got to the end of the month, which was just the other day, and I did my, my reset, right? So I, I have this sort of master list of habits that I keep. So I have all these habits that I've been doing for a long time, they're important to me. And so that monthly check-in is a great opportunity to reset and ask myself, okay, Am I on track, right? Am I veering off course on certain things? So it's a great chance to just look at all my habits and say, okay, cool, so I'm doing better on German, but what about Mandarin Chinese? And so I realized that I had formed a bias and I was, you know, killing it now with German, but not so much with Mandarin. And so again, I just find this two-step process to be so valuable, you know, weekly, check in just to see how things are going. And the main focus is on 1% improvements, right? The aggregation of marginal gains. But then the monthly check-in is a reset mechanism to bring myself back to the center and say, cool. Because again, I do find that if I just go for months and months and months, yeah, I'll start to do really well in certain things, but I'll always find that I've started to neglect something else important to me. So that's basically it. I, I really hope you like that. I know it's really simple, but like I said, I just think it's so beautiful. And it somehow it kind of reminds me of sharpening a knife, you know, where very often if you're sharpening a knife on like, let's say a whetstone, I'm not an expert, um, but I have tried this. But the idea that, you know, let's say you're sharpening one side and one side is getting sharper, but you need to also make sure that you then switch, you know, and, and sharpen the other side to keep things kind of in the middle. If you only sharpen one side of the knife, you're gonna end up with an unbalanced blade. And so while I hope that's not too inaccurate in terms of how it actually works with sharpening knives, that's what I think of. I'm just like every week sharpening the blade, right? Kind of, you know, here and there, but on a monthly basis, I'm checking in, seeing how straight is it? Are there any biases? and then I'm kind of resetting things. Um, so yeah, there we go. Let me know if this is helpful. I did just post uh, this week's language learning diary entry on Patreon, so I'll leave a link to that page in the description. But yeah, I wish you a wonderful weekend. Maybe take some time to you know check in, see how you did last week, see are there any 1% improvements that you could make on each of your languages or certain habits, and I'll see you back here on Monday for another video.